Hello Year 11 and welcome to our seventh and final video for this topic, probability. We're looking at conditional probability today, which is something perhaps that we haven't seen before. And I'm going to use the word uh, if here, I think, if. So, conditional probability if and B are events in the same uniform sample space. If you can recall the very first exercise that we did here, we defined a uniform sample space as one with equally likely outcomes. Okay, so as long as we have equally likely outcomes, then the probability of A if B is the conditional probability of A given B. Right, so what's the probability of A occurring if B occurs? We can calculate it this way here. The probability of A if B, or the conditional of probability of A given B, but I prefer to say F B, is the intersection of A and B over the size of B. Right, another way of saying that is the probability of A occurring if B has occurred is the number of outcomes that satisfy both of those events divided by the number of outcomes that satisfy uh, B. Here's an example, and I think it makes a lot more sense once we look at an example. Okay, uh, consider a deck of cards, 52 cards, four suits. Three cards in that deck are secretly marked, the Jack of Spades, the Jack of Clubs, and the Ace of Diamonds. A card is drawn at, drawn at random from the deck. So what's the probability that I draw one of those marked cards? Well, there are three marked cards from a deck of 52, so the probability, if it's chosen at random, is 3 and 52. Okay, that's not conditional probability, right? that's simple probability. Now, let's mix it up a little bit and say, in fact, I know that this card that's been drawn, right, I've chosen a card at random, and I know that it happens to be a court card, right? A jack, a king, or a queen. And there are 12 of those cards in a normal deck. So what's the probability, knowing that the card I've drawn is a court card, what's the probability that it's been marked? Well, there are 12 court cards, and two of them are marked, right? The Jack of Spades or the Jack of Clubs, but not the Ace of Diamonds. The Ace of Diamonds hasn't been drawn. It, we may have drawn the Jack of Spades or the Jack of Clubs. So the probability of drawing a marked card, if we have drawn a court card, right? Remember back to the formula here? It was the intersection of A and B. So the intersection, how many, how many marked cards are court cards? Two divided by the size of B, right? B here is drawing a court card, there's 12 of those. So the probability of drawing a marked card if we've drawn a court card is two and 12 or one and six. And that's it, that's conditional probability and the end of this topic. I hope it makes some sense. I'm afraid I won't be in class today, um, but hold on to your questions. We'll do a fair bit of revision on Tuesday, let me know how you go. Okay, thanks very much.